when we got here, which was Friday after this happened Thursday, uh, I came up with 20 or 30 things that could, in my opinion, cause something like this, which is what we always do. And we're trying to eliminate them one at a time based on fact, not on conjecture. Uh, we sometimes, you take one or two off, but you might add three or four more. Yeah. And so the idea is to find the trigger that made this building come down because it stood there for 40 years, something precipitated the collapse. In the end, we might not be able to find one trigger that might be, it was either this, this, or this, and we can't separate out between the two. And then once we understand the trigger, we can be looking at how other things in the building, uh, if they weren't done perfectly, either design or construction, how they might have impacted it. Maybe something, uh, if it would have been imperfect, it, part of the building wouldn't have come down. Maybe it didn't make any difference at all. The assumption by the condominium owners. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, would that be a situation? I mean, I don't know about if the, if the city could come up with that or try to get the county. Or this is most probably, in my experience, a one-off issue. We have to figure out what that one-off issue is. We begin with the original drawings that we found in the building department files, and we are doing both 2D and 3D models of the South Tower, which will allow us, which you didn't have this capability 40 years ago, but it allows us to then put different conditions on the model to see what happens. We're able to look at the load supporting elements, we're able to look at the wind, we're able to look at the material strengths, uh, both in reinforcing steel and concrete. We're able to look at the foundation systems. And while we're doing all that modeling, we're also, we, we have what I call a, um, a science project available to us. The North Building was built similar to, but not the same as the South Building. It had the same architect, the same structural engineer, the same developer. It may or may not have had the same contractor, we don't know that. Uh, it might have had the same concrete subcontractor, but I don't know that either. So in the South Tower, the, I mean in the North Tower, the occupants have been kind enough to let us go in there and do all kinds of measurements and materials testing and things, which we've been doing for a week and we're continuing to do. And what that does is two things. It allows us to make the North Tower people feel more comfortable with the safety of them and their building based on what we're finding in their building. Um, and it also allows us to look at things that we see in the North building that we might want to double check in the South building to see if they were the same or not.